In this video, we'll be covering media review and versions in FTrack Studio in the context of the demo project Napo. Files which are linked to FTrack objects, such as shots, sequences, or tasks, are called versions. The versions page displays all versions in a project and may be sorted and filtered as required. Versions are typically media files, images or clips, which can be opened in the web player for review from the versions page. Note that in this session I've enabled the new web player and selected it as my default player option. Versions are also accessible from the tasks page. In this example, I'll open the sidebar for a task and inspect the versions tab. All versions linked to this task are displayed here, and the file details can be inspected in the Components window. We can also open the versions in the player from here. Now we'll take a look at submitting versions. There are two methods, uploading, which saves the original file and an automatically generated review proxy on the FTrack cloud server, and publishing, which saves the original file on the user storage location and the proxy on the FTrack cloud server. Here's a shot object with animation and FX tasks. I'll open the sidebar for the animation task, switch to the versions tab and upload a version for review. My colleague is a manager on this shot so she receives an automated notification that the new version has been uploaded. My colleague opens the version in the player, selects a drawing tool, adds an annotation and a comment. I review my colleague's comment, implement the requested changes and upload a new version. My colleague reviews the new version in the player, switches to the Info tab and sets the version and task statuses to approve. On my tasks page, I see the updated status, indicating my work on this task is complete. If we want to seek approval from external collaborators who are not FTrack users, we can create a client review. On the versions page, I'll select some versions, right click for the contextual menu and add them to a client review. I'll enter the client's email address and send the invitation. The client launches the client review session from a link in their email message and they can comment, annotate, approve or reject the versions I've shared with them.